Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Magic by the Ocean. My name is Coralie if you are new here and thanks for popping by. I'm doing a little haul, op shop, crafter and thrifty Thursday. Um, both uh, open collabs by Velita and Sherry and I will link their details below. I just wanted to show you these first. I made a bag out of a pair of jeans, a pair of Levi's actually, from the op shop. Um, yeah, and what I did, um, really inspired by Janet Nash and her slow stitching, I decided to put them on the bag. Some mushrooms hearts and the little birdhouse however the rainbows my daughter commented on and said mum they would look really cool on a denim jacket or a tote bag and didn't think much of it and her birthday has been and gone she was a Christmas baby but not Christmas Day I'm not giving the date away or her age but um, she didn't young adult woman and talking to her partner about what to get her so and then it just came to me I went oh oh well she wanted she said about the denim and she said about the tote. So how about I make a denim bag, a denim tote bag? And that's what I did. And yeah, my first go at making a tote bag just followed a video. There wasn't a, plan, a pattern or anything, just a kind of a very sped up tutorial. So stop, start, stop, start. I'm still learning how to sew. So lots of trial and error. And I had this velvet. And I thought, oh, I'll align it with that. Well, it wasn't that fun to sew not. Made a few mistakes, learnt along the way, but it was so much fun. Before I made the bag, I'd actually bought her this denim jacket to put the, the um, embellishments on. But I actually did the bag instead. However, I decided last night <laughs> I was going to make some scrappy mushrooms and put them on the back so that's what I did yeah uh, just some scrappy pretty material it's very rough and then I had some sheer material sari silks and whatnot so I've cut those out these aren't sewn yet I need to do that um, that one is sewn and I have this fiber from a perth lady and i'll link her details below and i'm thinking what can i use with this fiber i just love it so much so i thought i'll do the mushrooms so it's not finished it might not be finished by the time she comes to visit me um however she can do what she wills with it i really wanted to put a rainbow over the top but i think it was too much because i started laying it out and went mm, too much so that's what I've been doing. Oh, sorry, I've got a new setup. Can you believe it? I've moved again. Yes, broke my favorite teacup today. I've had this for 11 years. <laughs> my partner broke the matching one. That's okay, I'm still using it. It's just the perfect size for my tea. Um, yeah, so a little haul. I will get started with got some material this was going to be I was gonna you know make some Christmas things and I didn't but I thought this was Christmassy this sort of tartan fleecy stuff so that was cute um, this haven't opened any of this I've actually moved again I don't did I just say that I don't know what I said this cute little dog fabric uh, there are people here that will be getting happy mail sometime this year but I'm doing a little collective 
of items that I know that they like. So I've got little piles for certain people and one day I'll actually send it all out. And there was a heap of, this was before Christmas, a heap of lace. And it was really a good price because a lot of the places their lace is so overpriced. So overpriced and I know to buy it new would cost a lot more but it's been donated and I think why, why? So they had, um, if I can find a bag, this one, that, well that was a dollar and there's like, I don't even know how many, I don't even know this. These are craft doilies so they've got a little stain elsewhere or somewhere if they've been cut up. And how cool are these? You can tea stain them, paint them with watercolour, brighten them up, separate them. So, yes, I will be using those this year. That's those. This is shoulder lace, which I can separate and use that. And the lace, let me tell you, <laughs> so much lace. Oh, so they were like all packaged up. They were either a dollar, this one was a dollar, or they were 50 cents. Most of these were 50 cents for three, and there's a lot on there. Let's see how much is on this. Brand new bags. I don't know if the op shop packaged them up or the person that had them, but look how much is here for a dollar, this trim. Anyway, so that was nice, little cream one. And then I have all these rolls left, toilet rolls and paper towel rolls that I keep. And I went, you know what, I'm going to use them as spools. So these are all the new laces I got. And all I did was flatten the, the roll, put it under some books for a while because they are quite bulky. I mean, look how much lace. These were 50 cents for two like that. These were 50 cents, not that one. I already had that one, those three. I know they're only nylon, but um, yeah, I liked how they look on the cardboard and some really pretty ones. Some I've pinned, some I've tucked in. Gorgeous lace. And I do use it quite often. And here's one of that out of that lot and I need a smaller one out of my stash I'll probably put on there yeah so they were really good price and I really like how they look when they're on the cardboard because this is my container and it's really not organized but I just kind of stack them up Instead of them all unravelling and the, the long ones I laid down in there. Yeah. And these ones I think I just tucked in there. Still need to organise that. But um, I just like the look of that on the cardboard. Could use any cardboard I suppose. But I had the toilet roll holders and the paper towel holders lying around. Oh and this is the red one that I did. Some vintage ribbon. Definitely vintage because it's stained or discoloured. Um, got this cute little boho thing which I'll use in one of my journals. Damn plastic. I wish they wouldn't but we know that they have to because I thought that was cute. Um, this cute ribbon, which was 50 cents for quite a lot. Rainbow ribbon. Excuse my nails, I've been gardening. Oh, that's another story. These little mini photo frames with the brads. I thought they were cute. I could use those. Even use them as a stencil to um, make some out of cardboard. Some cute little fish. It's the same place I got the lace. Oh, they, they were a bit expensive. These are two dollars, but I thought that was still cute. Little fish, angel fish, are they? Different types. These little fish. I think they'll go in whimsy. I'll put them in whimsy. 
my whimsy journal. Uh, some 90s wrapping paper. Some candles, I think. And I just like this one with the moon. And this cute little vintage Christmas card, I think. Yeah, I mean, look at the colour. I don't, not that you can tell, but it's all discoloured, the envelope. It's a gorgeous card. That would make a cute little journal. Some more lace on the other, just some couple of embellishments. So that was 50 cents. I thought that was pretty good. And today, if my friend wanted to go to the spotlight, we call it, it's like the craft, you know, haberdashery place. And then we went to a few op shops because I wanted to buy some more jeans to make another bag because my middle daughter would like one now. And she, and she said, oh, look at these cotton. I said, no, they're nice. I don't really need it. But there's some nice colours in there which I don't have. And I just love these little mini spools. So one day when they're all used, which will be never, um, I might do something with the spools. But how cool would they look hanging off a sewing journal or something as a dangle? Uh, a couple of cassettes. Not for the music, and I don't have a cassette player, but I've been wanting to um, do some stamping because I saw Janet Nash do some stamp stamping of some cassettes a long time ago, and they're really hard to come by. Now that I've got two, I've seen them everywhere. Uh, now for the books. found this cute fairy. Sorry for the glare. I have to use my ring light now because this house has like three windows and... Um, no daylight not sure what I'll do yet but I thought it was really cute cute little images I mean I could make these into windows and shakers or all sorts of things and maybe take it apart and just use the book as a journal the cover and possibly use these as journal cards We'll see. We'll see what comes evolves from that. This Disney book, which is... I hadn't seen one of these before. There's a whole set, so... Uh, this one is 1973. It's in really good nick really good condition so it has the illustrations as well as the photographs of all different things to do with nature birds actually we we're driving back today my friend and i and we saw two wedge-tailed eagles standing up in the paddock next to us driving oh they're massive and I hadn't seen a pair together, especially just standing around for a long time. I wonder if they were feeding on something dead in the paddock. Quite possible. Oh, lots of birds. And that's pretty. Yeah, so this book love the pages it's it's in pretty good condition so I'm not wanting to sorry if there's some scare I know people don't like moths like me I don't like spiders so I absolutely panic if I flip a page and there's a spider on it I'm getting better I am desensitizing myself gorgeous images so I'm not sure if I'll actually uh, take this apart might keep it for a while we'll see so cute. Might even read it. Yeah, so that's that. And then I came across this set. Um, hadn't seen it before. Six of them Magic Castle Readers. These were 50 cents each. I think they're from the 90s. No, 1988. And they were printed in Minnesota. I thought these were just the cutest. <clears throat> Once there were three little rabbits 
The first little rabbit had a habit of dropping his things here and there. Sounds like teenagers, doesn't it? The second little rabbit had a habit of leaving his things everywhere. The third little rabbit had a habit of putting his things where they belonged. I wish that worked for crafting. I often wish I could put it where it belonged, but I forget I've used it and put it down. And then when I go to find it, use it, I can't find it. Getting better. Now that I'm in an even smaller space. Cute. Yeah, so these, has anyone heard of these? this series? Really cute images. Adorable. So there's that. Rabbits, habits, this is ice cream, cows and mitten sheep. They're all 88. So cute. I could really go to town with these. Butterfly Express, look away if you don't like the wings. I'm not sure what's happened here, staining, but most of them, they're fully intact with um, no damage, no drawing. Here we go round the year. Magic Castle. I mean, this is backwards for me because clearly it's summer here in December and January. But you, my friends over the pond, will totally get the vibe. Oh, how cute is that? Really cute. Oh, I love that. December brings sleigh rides, surprises, and then a new, a new year begins all over again. Twelve little bears say, can you read the months of the year? How many months are there around the year? Can you find your birthday month? Yeah, cute. Nanny goat's boat. <laughs> that was the first one I picked up and it was by itself and I was talking to the um gentleman because he heard me talking about books and over he comes oh i've got the same problem with books i went oh have you <laughs> i'm not as bad as i was i've decluttered a lot and then yeah i was talking and then i went and had another look and there the rest the other five books were there there's quite a few i think in the series I thought I saw somewhere the other books. Maybe not. That's different. Oh, look at this. It's, oh, they're the answers. Yes, no, little hippo. No, I thought I really saw. Maybe it was when I looked up, looked them up online. It was the other. And then today, I found these Lego books. I've never seen them. I like Lego. I don't have any Lego, but I used to buy it for my son every birthday. And he has some really cool Lego going back 20 years or so. Some of them would probably be vintage or retro now. But I really liked these. There was another one there, but it didn't grab me. And that was a later version, um, 90s. This is, uh, no, not 90s. It was 2010 or something. I think these in 98. I forget. I love Lego. I love the little memes they make on Instagram with the Lego figures. It's quite hilarious. Must be in the back. Do, do, do. Oh, no, this is the 2009 one. Well, it must be 2009. The later one must have been... What was this one? I think it was in the front. Okay. 
well, they're both 2009 the other one must have been 2018 or something but I didn't like the inside so it tells you all about Lego and I did not know that Lego made plastic toys I think it might be up here somewhere yeah like cars and whatnot wooden toys Lego wow 1930s and 1950s and uh, these cars and trucks did anyone have anything like that my brother had them so it was that was 80s um, but anything before that I don't know anyone who had Lego I know my parents didn't have Lego it's been around a while hasn't it and I think even like in the 80s they didn't have gender specific Lego like for girls and boys they only had Lego targeted at boys I imagine but now you can get it in here or the other one now you can get you know specific color and license like yeah like Indiana Jones and Star Wars whereas back in the day they were just Lego people doing their acts of daily living really and now you can get all kinds of Lego I'd love a castle or a fairy I would actually build it and display it at my house. Might have been the other book. I had all the pink Lego. Could have been. I don't know. Yeah, so that was my little op shop haul over probably the last month or so. Sometimes I forget to show you what I've got and I'll do a video and I'm like, oh, I didn't show that or I didn't show that. Um... Just seeing if the pink must have been in the other book. I thought I wasn't buying all of them. I don't need them. They, I will probably cut them up maybe. I don't think they're worth anything. I didn't bother looking them up. I just liked them. Yeah. So that was my little haul. And hopefully I can get some journaling done now that I'm sorted and got my life in order at the moment for after Christmas did everyone have a nice Christmas it's New Year's soon no resolutions for me I don't make them um, I just want to live a authentic life as much as I can my daughter's coming to visit she's had a birthday week overseas and she's calling in to my place on the way home and I can't wait to see her it's gonna be so good give her a big hug all right till the next time I'll see you all then bye